Yeah, I've driven for Kevin for five years. It's a nice yoke to drive, yeah. You don't, as I said, you don't feel as tired at the end of the day when you when you get out of it. Um, visibility's better out of it. Uh, transmission's probably nicer to wash than as well. You're not, your hand is sort of the one spot all day and not fully forward. The feed is, is serious, like. The other half of it was in the yard, it was a nightmare trying to get the grass to the front of it. <laughs> Power wasn't as bad, you know, but just getting the stuff into it, like, this one now is a completely different ball game. Oh, she'll take it in, no problem, once it goes in, she'll spit it out. We've always found the, any of the stuff, um, good, strong, solid stuff, and that's what we found with the, the, the big X there too as well. And to be honest, uh, we see no major, if we are changing again, we'd be happy to, 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 to keep um, sticking with Crone. A lot of my farmers, when they can, they would tear the grass and tear it themselves. And because of the conditions, we don't get a drying at times doesn't be no good. Whenever that's rolled up again, tear it wet, wettish grass would tend to be lumpy. And we were getting baller with the previous harvester, we accelerator breaking because of the the lumpy rows was causing problems. No, no longer an issue. Uh, the harvester will handle the lumps a lot better for us too. Look at you can adjust your accelerator on the move on this one. Uh, you can get a stronger blow. For instance, if you were going around a wet spot and your, your tiller had to be more away from you, you can adjust your blow up and you know to get the tiller. Never ever choked it with grass. Never. I'm Mark Brady, I've been driving for Paul McCallum for the last three or four years. There's a pair of machine now to stay on hills and in wet conditions, big and wet grass, usually it could have a bit of problems with the reel and stuff with wet grass, but no bother so far now. Uh, there's a good lock and it'll turn around into a 30 foot, turn into a 20 foot swart again, no bother. You wouldn't be watching swarts as much for lumps and you know, you could, you could let it into a lump and to take it through with no bother compared to the previous harvester to be a bit slower. It would just slow down for a lump and let it through it slowly. Definitely feel we have made the right decision in buying the big X because it's able to handle every season, whether it is wet, whether it is dry, whatever we get, whatever the weather has turned at it, it hasn't let us down any time. It's able to get out there in the wet, it doesn't really matter to us. If the conditions are half right at all, she will work. They're for good value for money. Either the, yeah, I don't know, are the crown value for money? Are the rest of them over expensive? I don't know. Probably the rest of them are too dear. Yeah, the rest, the rest of them are too, too dear. dear. Yeah. This is value for money here, but the main advantage to this machine is fuel consumption. We run this machine here now, and we're picking up 50 foot swarts, and we're burning four and a half liters an acre. Uh, its nearest competitor, which would be the other color, we can't remember we'll any names, is up to seven liters, which I'm told by a good friend of mine and uh, that's massive. Like, that's two and a half litres an acre straight away. And if you're, let's say, 4,000 acres, let's talk simple figures here, 4,000 acres, you're saving two and a half litres an acre, that's 10,000 litres, and let's say you're buying a your diesel at 60 cent, that's 6,000 euros. 6,000 euros savings in a year. Happy days. And a cheaper machine, do you know, it's, 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 it's easy maths.